climate strikes were held today, and the results were largely promising. There were over 2,000 events in over 100 countries, and the number of participants is somewhere in the hundreds of thousands. Let's look at some more regional numbers to get a more detailed picture. In Vienna, depending on who you ask, between 10,000 and 25,000 striked, and over 10,000 in other Austrian towns can be added to that. Around 25,000 in Germany participated, we are assuming that this number as well as the following are based on police reports. Furthermore, we have 30,000 in Sydney and 10,000 in London. In Delhi, only a bit over 200 striked. Vidit Baya, a participant, explains, In India, no one talks about climate change. We don't see it on the news or in the papers or hear about it from government. This was our first strike as a nation and there were young people taking strike action in many cities. It is a flashing movement, but we are very happy with our action today. We are trying to get people to be more aware of climate change and need to tackle it. In Hong Kong, over 500 participated and earned themselves a prompt condemnation by the Hong Kong Edu Education Bureau. Paul Stapleton of the Hong Kong Free Press returns this condemnation. Our government leaders are dropping the ball on two fronts. They are unwilling to seriously contribute funding from the massive reserve and surplus to reduce our collective carbon footprint by investing in renewable energy and the like. Meanwhile, they continue to support those who get around town in large vehicles. Secondly, and perhaps even worse, they discourage our youth for trying to create change by rising up and using their minimal power to do something about climate change via the strike. I think that is true about a lot of leaders. Some further participating countries I could not get in numbers for were South Africa, Namibia, Madagascar, Kenya, Tanzania, Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria, and even Antarctica. Overall, these results are promising, but not nearly enough. A lot more needs to happen, and it needs to happen soon. One striking feature of these tracts is that participation in the Western countries was quite high, with exception of the US, where it was basically a total blackout. But participation in less developed countries was not as high. And really, it is these countries that we need to get. Because these countries, the transformation these countries undergo right now, and the future character this, this transformation will take, will be deciding about if the world lives or dies, basically. So in this spirit, um, mostly uh, the number that mostly fills me with hope are the 200 students in Delhi and the 500 students in Hong Kong and the other countries that were listed that, um, that were in Africa and in Antarctica. All those smaller countries which do not yet have the luxuries we have are where, where the world will live and live or die because once they if they just try to imitate our model we will die if they decide to do an ecological transformation then we might have a chance really it's not as much about the west but we need to get these ideas we need to get these movement there we need to export them <laughs> we need to colonize them <laughs> um, yeah due to the very nature students and pupils don't have as much power as the people on the t at the top but as we can see the actions of individuals can have an actual impact so if we look at Greta Thunberg who was one of the persons who did a lot to advance these strikes. Her actions had a real tangible impact, even though she is only, I'm not sure, is she 12 or 14 or 6? No, I don't think she's even 16. I think she's very young, but she, she has this whole thing understood, at least on the level that we need to do something and that we need to get... Yeah, that we need to come for them. Overall, this is a good sign and it fills me with a little hope. But we don't 
we can't get complacent. We need to do this again and again and again and again. And to those politicians uh, who say that um, pupils shouldn't like shouldn't like take away their time for learning, <laughs> those are just laughable. I don't even have something to say to them. To those who are like. Oh, it's encouraging how much these young people care for the future. I just say fuck you, because you are in government. You could do something. You should do something. And you have not. So fuck you. And get to fucking work.